Well, how's it going? Chuck Hewitt here from Quiet Cat E-Bikes, uh, here to talk to you today a little bit about shifting. All right, we're going to get into some derailleur adjustment, but we're going to get into inspecting the whole shifting system as well. Kind of what makes your bike change from gear to gear. Perfect. So let's take a look at all the components for our shifting system here on our e-bikes that make our, our bikes shift smoothly from gear to gear. We're going to start up here by the handlebars and we'll first look at the, uh, the shifter here on the bars. This is our indexer. Here at Quiet Cat, we're using SRAM drivetrains on most of our bikes. This is going to be the same um, regardless of the bike that you have. Um, as we inspect the system, we're going to look at our shifter right here. We're going to make sure that there's no damage bumps, dings, sometimes these levers get bent, looking for any visible damage on that shifter. Right, as we move down from our shifter um, through the cable, we'll see the shift sensor here. We're just going to inspect that that's not smashed or damaged. That's going to tell our motor to stop functioning when we're shifting gears, which is an important part of our shifting uh, equation here. Just for reference, not all of our Jeep and Ridge Runner models have a shift sensor on them. But we'll keep moving down that cable, just looking for any kind of damage that we might find on this cable. And you can follow it right into the frame. Obviously, we can't see what's going on inside the frame, but we can inspect uh, that cable as it enters the frame. It's going to come out um, underneath the top tube. We can inspect, again, this section of cable. Just make sure there's no visible damage to that. And then as we move down here, we'll see the cable come out uh, on the rear triangle and down to the rear derailleur itself. All right, so this is our rear derailleur. This is going to allow us to index through the cassette and shift from gear to gear. Again, I want to just have a nice clean visual inspection, make sure that there's no damage, rocks or bends or kinks or anything to the derailleur there. Right? I can also at the same time check out the cassette just by moving it nice and gently. I can pedal it forward. Again, I'm just looking for any visible damage here in the cogs of the cassette. Make sure that nothing is cracked, broken, dent, dented, damaged like that. Um, as we keep moving through here, we're going to look at the chain. I'm just going to inspect the chain, make sure again, just looking for damage. Sometimes these chains can get bent or kinked or damaged, right? And this will lead me right up into the front chain ring that's attached to our uh, mid-drive motor here on this apex. Um, again, I'm just looking at the chain ring itself, which is where all these teeth are, making sure that this isn't bent, damaged, or broken. Once I've had a good look through the shifting system, kind of through all the parts and pieces there, then we can move on to actually trying to tune our derailleur, knowing that everything's going to function as it should. So as we've walked through all these parts and pieces of the shifting system here on our bikes, you have a pretty good overview now of, of what's what. So we have a lot of videos and a lot more videos on the way to help you replace or repair each one of these pieces. So check out the piece that maybe needs a little bit of attention uh, and check out our video on that.